Hey designers and welcome back to Design School. In this video, I want to show you how you can add sticky social icons to your WordPress website using Elementor. Well, why do you want to add this one? It's really great to have share buttons always accessible to the user. So if he really likes your article, he may share it on Twitter, Facebook or any other social network that you provide and that will in fact drive traffic and it may get you even more leads and that will also act as a social proof so that your website becomes really famous and doing that is quite easy and of course you can do it with Elementor Pro and the Elementor free version so I'll show you how to do that in this video let's dive right into it I'll show you how to add sticky social media icons or buttons using the pro version of Elementor first and I'll show you how to do it with the free version in a bit with the pro version well you can create a template for a page or post and make these icons a part of the design. I'm going to exactly do that but you can do this with any post or page or custom post type. So I'll just go ahead and click create template and I'll choose a single post or page template. When I do that I mean whenever I create a new page or post I want this design to be applied to that particular post or page. Of course this can be applied to a custom post as well. It's all up to you. So I'll just call this post design sticky design basically I'm designing a post design or template using Elementor's pro version so that whenever I create a new post these sticky social bars will always be there so I'll just click on create template of course Elementor gives me these default templates or the designs to start with but I don't want to do that we'll do everything from the scratch and remember we're doing it with the pro version first I'll show you how to do it with the free version in a bit so just add two columns and the first column will be home to your post content so your post title will go there your post content and of course your featured image and any other details that you want to add in here such as author information or something so post info and just drag it I'm not focusing much on the design right now I just want to show you how you can add the social sticky icons so we'll focus on that part so I click on this column and I make it 92% wide so there's only a narrow gap or column gap left onto the left so this column will automatically be of 8% in width so the most portion of the website will just be this post content and I want my sticky sidebar to be here right so I'll just click on this plus and I'll search for share and I get my share buttons widget over there so I'll just drag it into this one man I just want icon so it's positioned in the top so I just want icons and if you want the size to be circle you can do that but I want the shape to be square so that I can club them together remember how we saw backlink course implementation so we'll just do that this is all great you can change any designs that you want maybe you can give it another skin maybe something of this sort I'll go with this one and the next thing that you want to do is to club them together so we don't want any gaps between the rows so we'll just club them together or maybe a little bit of gap so it looks like that so if that looks great that's for you so we're almost there the only thing is that we need to make it sticky I'll just go with flat I think that looks better and even the hover animations are great so flat looks great and of course you can position it wherever you want maybe if you want to position it in the middle you can do that I'll just click on this section and I want to add padding on both sides on the right side and on the left side as well so as to better highlight this particular widget and also the content 
so there's a space here and here and this will look better than my post has featured image title post info and the post content itself and of course i want to drag the comments with it as well so i'll just drag my comments which under this i'll just leave it so all the comments will be shown right within this column and the sidebar stays sticky right there so i'll just click on this particular share buttons widget click on advanced click on scrolling effect and i'll just make it sticky so you can make it sticky on desktop tablet and mobile devices and watch what happens when i make it sticky and simply leave other settings as is the element goes on to the top of the website i don't want that i want to specify an offset which means the distance at which this particular element should be placed after it becomes sticky so i'll just set an offset of 100 so you can see how that looks now that looks great let me change the element position to the top so that we can see it better so my element is placed here you can now see it looks great and there's something called effects offset so this specifies at what after which distance this effect should take place so maybe after 100 pixels make this scrolling effect happen so that's what it specifies or maybe after 10 pixels make this scrolling effect happen so that's what this means and as you can see when you when we make this element sticky it stays sticky even after the whole content is scrolled right it will scroll until this footer we don't want that of course we can change this with code the simplest workaround is to add something called z indexes well they're built into elementor z indexes are nothing but stacking so the element with higher z index will be on the top and the element with lower z index will be on the bottom of it so i mean if there is a footer below this so make sure you give this particular social share button a z index it can be any number that doesn't exist before so i gave this number 9 and a z index of for this section 10 so you can see when i scroll over this the section covers or overlaps this particular sticky bar but when you scroll on to the top well it's there so this is kind of a workaround but not an actual solution and you can do the same thing with the footer so you can give the footer a z index of maybe 11 and then this sticky bar won't be shown on top of the footer and this particular flawed implementation can be even seen with Backlinko's site. You can see that the sticky bar sits right above this particular footer. You can see that. So even they forgot to change it, but we have a workaround. So just give higher Z indexes. So just give this a Z index and give the rest of the website higher Z indexes than this one. Then this particular thing will be hidden under that particular element so go to your footer change the footer z index to a number higher than nine it can be hundred thousand it doesn't matter so that's how you add a sticky social icons to your wordpress website using elementor pro okay so that's how you do sticky social icons with elementor pro version how do you do it with the free version well the entire procedure is the same meaning the columns the percentages and every other stuff is the same except you don't have these social share icons or the share buttons provided by Elementor Pro. So you have to install a third party plugin which gives you this functionality. So here I installed a plugin called Ultimate Social Icons. You can type social into WordPress repository and you can find a ton of icons. Make sure they're supported with the latest version. I'll leave a link to three to four icons in the description down below so if you're using element of free version make sure you install one of those plugins and the way that you can achieve this particular design is by getting a short code so each widget 
gives you a short code right so this particular ultimate social media icons has a short code feature too so all you want to do or all you need to do is to get the short code of that particular widget so let me go search for the short code so let me um yeah there's a head there's a setting called place via short code i'll click on that and they say this is the short code that i need to paste so as i don't have the pro version i won't have this widget so entire column structure and everything is the same and also the sticky effects all you need to do is to click on plus and search for short code widget drag and drop it paste the short code that your third party plugin provides and just like that your icons appear like that and of course you can apply everything that i taught you with the pro version except that these are third party widgets so you go to scrolling effect you say top give it an offset maybe 100 and that's it that's how you make sticky icons and of course don't forget the z index so just go to advanced give it a z index of 9 so that's it so by default elementor doesn't allow you to position elements it only allows you to put it at the top of the column middle of the column and at the bottom of the column it doesn't allow you to custom position maybe somewhere in between and you want to position it right next to your title or the content and you don't want it right next to your image right and your image is typically of uh, 900 by 300 or 900 by 400 resolution that's what i typically upload my images with as so i just want to position this right next to my title so i'll just click on this social share buttons widget i'll go to custom css and i'll type selector and i want the top to be after four 520 pixels which means that 520 pixels gap will be created at the top of this particular widget and you can give any number that you want that suits your needs and if your uh, image is typically of a 1080p resolution well you can give 1080p so that this content will be pr this particular sidebar will appear after 1080 pixels and mine is typically of 500 pixels height so i think 500 pixels will do it for me and you can tweak whatever number you want or you can even give it a percentage all you need to do is to click on selector and add a percentage and i taught you how to do this with the free version as well the only thing that you need to do is to give this share section or the short code third party widget a particular name go to advanced give it a class name and then replace the same code that i'm going to share with you in the description with that particular class name so that particular code will be applied to the free version in of elementor as well if you're really confused about this go watch the video rotate transform and scale images and text where i taught you how to do css with the free version with a practical example and that's how you position the sticky element wherever you want hope you like this video and if you did give it a thumbs up i'll talk to you in the next video peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace